Welcome back to another edition of Trucking News. This one brought to you by the folks at DAT, one of the biggest load boards out there. Try it for free by checking the link in the description. 30 days, free of charge, no obligation. Let's get into it. Welcome back to Trucking News. A Michigan trucking company owner is facing multiple charges for allegedly overcharging a construction company by millions of dollars over the course of several years. Authorities have charged 47-year-old Lori Stauer with nine counts of felony fraud in relation to a billing scheme, according to ABC 12 of Michigan. She's the co-owner of Stony Treat Trucking which is based in North Branch, Michigan. The scheme was discovered after the trucking company equipment supplier, Bandit Industries, filed a complaint with the county sheriff's office back in 2018. The nine felony charges include, but are not limited to, three counts of false pretenses, $1 million or more, three counts of using a computer to commit a crime, three counts of fraud, obtaining a signature with an intent to commit fraud. So this lady overbilled the company to which her company was hauling construction equipment for. I mean, she made a whole bunch of money, but did anybody else? I don't think so. I think one company lost a whole bunch of money. Now our second story takes us back to what we talked about in the last edition about Falcon Transport. You remember the company that shut down without giving anybody any kind of notice? On April 27th, the Youngtown, Youngstown, Ohio-based trucking company, Falcon Transport, notified its drivers and employees that they were closing the doors. If you didn't remember, if you didn't see the story, look it up. I'll link it below. Now, back on that day, they notified its hundreds of drivers via text message to let them know that the company was closing down and they must stop working immediately. Several of the company's drivers were reportedly stranded on the road without any way to get home when they received the text message. Others reported uh, that their fuel cards stopped working and that they were not paid on time. You guys remember the story about Falcon, right? Right? Well, on Tuesday, uh, 11 days after the closure, Falcon finally filed a late WARN notice with the state of Ohio. The WARN Act is a federal requirement that requires companies uh, who employ more than 100 people uh, to provide their workers 60 days notice before the layoff. In the notice that Falcon filed, uh, they told the state that they failed to notify their workers that they may or were losing their jobs in advance because it would have hurt Falcon's chances of getting paid before they shut down. Uh, listen, this, this is what Falcon said, okay? And I quote, We have not been able to give 60 days notice because of the failure of Falcon attempts to raise additional capital, which attempts would have been impaired by the sending of notices, including without limitation, unsuccessful attempts to negotiate additional capital, unsuccessful attempts to negotiate additional funding and other accommodations from lenders, unsuccessful attempts to sell excess equipment, unsuccessful attempts to negotiate release of escrow funds from prior owners, attempts to negotiate a settlement payment from its largest customer, and other capital raising attempts. Sending notices earlier would have jeopardized our effort to obtain further funding. Uh, I think they were already in trouble and they didn't give their drivers notice because they couldn't get funding. I, that doesn't seem like an excuse to me. I think that they should have still told their people that they were closing the doors down. I wanna know what you have to say about that. Leave a comment. Now in our final story is trucking, is parking for trucks in the trucking industry getting so bad that drivers are stabbing each other? Apparently, West Virginia police arrested two men following a crash and a fight in a truck stop. So kind of parking related. It was at 6.30, so what do you think people were doing in West Virginia? Anyway, police were called to the scene around 6.30 p.m. on Monday at the TA truck stop in Putnam County in West Virginia, according to a news release from the sheriff's department. So these guys got into a fender bender in the truck stop, started arguing. One guy stabbed another in the leg and in the abdomen. Now at 
in the evening, what do you think those guys were doing? They're probably looking for a place to park, probably rushing around the truck stop, probably a tight space. I don't know the full details. I'll link it in the description, but come on, guys. What do you think they were doing? You know they were looking for a parking spot. Check out the full story below. Tell me what you think about it in the comments.